Hi guys, Mark the Bone here. How are you all doing? Hope you had a good Christmas. Right, today is um, a, a lesson for the beginners. I keep getting requests um, for from people that have just bought cigar box guitars. I know a few of you have got some for Christmas. Um, and they go on to my, my lessons, and of course the lessons are for more people that can actually play chords and so forth. So a few people have asked me, can I do a beginner's lesson? Well, yes, I can. So this is for you guys that have just bought your cigar box guitars. And we go through what we can get. So the first thing you're going to need is, you, is one of these. Is a chord sheet. You can see that there. Now, if you go to my even my Facebook, Mark LeBone Cigar Box Guitars on Facebook, or uh, my email, which is Mark LeBone Cigar Box Guitars at Yahoo.com, the links will be in below. Um, you can download these and print these off because you're going to need these. Um, these will actually give you. All the basics of chords, the one finger chords, and then some other chords, variations of chords um, that you're going to need later on. So, first thing, most of my lessons, or virtually all of my lessons, are in open G, which means the guitar is tuned to open G. So the top string will be G, the middle string will be D, and the bottom string will be G. So that gives you an open G chord. Um, there are other variations of tunings, but we can go into that later date and, and some other lessons. Uh, the other thing you're going to need, these are things for the beginners that haven't got anything yet, or are looking to buy, or have got a guitar and need extras, is one of these. It's a guitar tuner. It's just a nice little thing. You get these on, online, they're not a lot of money, which clip the headstock, press a button, and then you get... A little read out and as you pluck it it tells you the chord you can tune it so as I say we're in open G which is G D G so invest in one of them <coughs> now you don't always have to have an amp because um, these as you can, if, if I just turn that down so you can play them without an amp But if you've got, obviously, like I have, and you've got a pickup and you want to put an amp, get yourself a little amp. Um, I use, I'm using a Vox here, but there's lots of small amps out there. <coughs> this is a battery-powered Vox amp. Um, you can get the the, the Roland, the, the, the little cube, um, which I've, is also a battery pad. There's another little one. If, in fact, if you look um, at some of my other, um, I think review. It was a, yes, it was a review of um, a Grizzly guitar um, at Willie's Guitar Shop i had done a few weeks back. Um, there's a nice little amp that they do, and they're only like 50 quid, which is actually brilliant. They're battery powered or mains powered, and they're called, I think they were called the Riff. <coughs> it's a very small practice amp, only about four or five watts, perfect for cigar box guitar. Um, and it had a, um, I think it had a distortion button on it as well, so it gives you a bit of distortion. So a little amp is great if you've got one of them. So, okay, so chord sheets. Now, obviously the structure of the guitar is we are in open G, so that's a G chord. <coughs> now with one finger, as you place in various positions on the fretboard, provided you've obviously got a fretted guitar, of course, um, that will be a different chord. So if you, all the fingers on the second fret, that's an A chord. All the fingers on the fourth fret, that's a B chord. The fifth fret, C chord. Seventh fret, D chord. Ninth fret, E. And then tenth fret, F. And then if you go to the twelfth, you're back to the G. So it's quite easy to start to learn to play because you've only got one finger. Um, I know some of you guys saying you've recently bought uh, ukuleles and you're struggling because obviously you have to use chord shapes. Um, but with the, the three string scarf guitars, of course, the, the wonder of it is you can just do it with one finger. So that's the most important part. Um, I'll give you a little demonstration, say um, um, a quick one, to show you how easy it is to play. Um, we'll do a Rolling Stones, Honky Tonk Woman, everyone knows that. I won't do all the frills and the fiddly bits, I'll just show you the basics so you get an idea, and then I do a close-up so you can see the finger positions. And this is actually in G, and the chords for this are three chords, which is G, C, oh sorry, four chords, G, 
C, A and D. <coughs> but we only use the A in one part of the song. Um, so it would be open G, the A would be the 2nd fret, the C would be the 5th fret, and the D will be the 7th fret. Um, and then I'll go a close up and also show you about the rhythms, because I, I mute a bit. But don't worry about that for the minute, it's getting the basics so you get to understand how you can play it. And it starts like this, so it's starts in G. And all I'm doing there is, is I'm just strumming down, strumming up, and just slapping on the guitar, muting it. C, back to G, A, B, then back to G, C, G, D, G. A meta. Jump on Queen in New York City. She tried to take me upstairs for a ride. The lady, then she covered me in roses. She blew my nose and then she blew my mind. But it's a hard See, so simple, all done with one finger, and that's a song. So it shows you how easy it is to play one of these instruments. Um, as you progress, there are different ways of playing it. There's different chord sequences. You'll see those later on in my lesson. But the way to start is start with the one finger, get your rhythms going, getting used to playing where the, where the chords are. And primarily, um, most of the songs you could actually play just with one finger. I mean, there's hundreds of songs out there that you can actually just play on a three-string cigar box guitar with one finger. Now, I'm just going to come to a little close-up so you can see what I mean when I'm pressing all the strings. So I'll come to a close-up now. We are. So here we are, a close-up. So, as you can see, that's just strumming all the strings. The A chord is the second fret. You can see that, the second fret. And it's all the fingers, so all fingers across, that's an A. A C is the 5th fret, all fingers. D is 7th fret, all fingers. So as you can see, you know, as you go through it, you go, you know, from the G, that would be A flat, A, that would be B flat, B, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, and then you can keep on going, if you keep coming up here, and then you get up to the G, obviously F there, and then G. So, with one finger, just one finger, one finger, you could play a guitar. And it's just a matter of getting used to using this hand as well, because you're trying to do something different, you're strumming. So it's sort of down up. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Literally, all I'm doing is just going down up. Just down up, down up, down up. And just keep doing that. It doesn't matter where you're playing the, the chords. making a tune or not. It's just getting used to playing the both hands together. So just pick any anywhere you want to go and it's and it's familiarise yourself with the fretboard. So you know this is G, obviously then goes to 
A flat A, B flat B, C, D flat D, E flat E, F, G flat G. Because once you come to the 12th fret, you're back round to the G again. So let me sit back down. And, uh... So there you go. So I got a simple little idea. Simple, simple to play, easy to play. It's just a matter of getting used to knowing where all the chords are with one finger and you're strumming. And then at a later date, um, once you've downloaded my chord sheet, you'll see all the chords here, what I've just spoke about, all the one finger chords are down here. All these other ones are just different variations of playing chords. Don't worry about those for a minute. Just concentrate on this bit here, which is the one finger section. So don't worry about any of these for a minute. Just that. Okay, that's a quick little beginner's lesson for you. Um, don't forget, download the sheet, go to my Facebook page, which is Mark LeBone Cigar Box Guitar. You can download that or email me at MarkLeBoneCigarBoxGuitars at Yahoo.com um, and I can send you a, a sheet. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all my other lessons and my reviews. Um, okay, that's it for now. Keep on playing.